Hey everyone, it's Libby from Mice's Guidance. I'd like to uh, acknowledge the Warramai First Nations people on whom Narin is a uh, tribal elder and uh, spiritual leader. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'd like to welcome my spirit guides and all who come with them. Please protect us with your light and guide us with your messages. So this morning, uh, Meister's Guidance, again, this is a message that uh, Narin has felt that we need to hear at this particular time. The idea of uh, the uh, Meister's Guidance messages is that you scroll through uh, the uh, full listing. If uh, an image or a title uh, grabs you at any particular moment, that is the message that you need to hear. You personally, your guides are telling you that you need to hear at this time. So the new message that Narin is bringing forward for us this week is I've drawn from my Namaste deck this particular card. I can't remember whether I've had it before or not, but it is a very powerful message as all the Namaste messages are. So the foundation of this reading today is free yourself from negative entanglements by letting go of emotional ties, beliefs and outdated ways of thinking that no longer serve you. You have the power. That which you let go will transform you into will transform into an endless blessing. So this is very much about giving, letting go of what does not serve you, letting go of past baggage, letting past go of past judgment, judgment on yourself, judgment on others. Um, we are not our past. Our past is what has made us who we are today. But we must be very careful not to live, lament, uh, hold on to to past hurts as well as blessings um, because they've made us who we are now. But we are here now in the present to be in the present to move forward, not to look backwards. We learn from what has gone on in the past, but we don't we need to be careful, very careful not to live there. And we need to be very careful to acknowledge that it was, it has been, but it is no longer. So this is about freeing yourself from negative entanglements by letting go of emotional ties, beliefs and outdated ways of thinking that no longer serve you. They are in the past. You have the power within. Forgive yourself, forgive others. Uh, forgiving uh, forgiving yourself for perhaps things you have done in the past does not mean you have to go back and try and rectify them because 99 times out of 100 the person who uh, you feel guilty about uh, perhaps unintentionally thinking that you caused some hurt to you they won't even remember and vice versa if someone has unintentionally hurt you I can just about guarantee that they won't remember the incident either. Um, and, it's, and it's not about going back to try and rectify because um, it is up to the person that you may have hurt in the past to actually forgive. It's not for you to force forgiveness upon them. You have the power. that The power that will let... That which you let go will transform into an endless blessing, eternal blessing. It is about learning the lesson from the past and moving forward, acknowledging, accepting and moving forward. Okay, I'll bring you down. I have pre-shuffled and drawn the cards. I have not looked at them because you don't need to spend 20 minutes seeing me shuffle. But these are, uh, this is my uh, Australian wildflower cards, my Nature's Whispers cards and my Cosmic um, guidance cards just building on that foundational reading of freeing yourself from outdated ways of thinking that no longer serve you freeing yourself from what does not serve you the first card we've got sorry I shall start as I'm supposed to start the first card I've got the blue gum flower healing oh, what a first card this is all about healing healing yourself so that you can be true to yourself and move forward. So by freeing yourself from the negative entanglements, forgiving your past, forgiving both you and whom you feel may have wronged you, by accepting what you have done, because it is done. You cannot undo what has been done. Accepting, acknowledging, 
learning the lesson is the most important step in that, uh, in, in moving forward from what has gone on in your past. The most important step in you healing is acknowledging, accepting and, and recognizing the lesson that you had to learn and then letting go. So this is huge about uh, uh, healing within yourself so that you can be uh, more fully open to the universe, to raising your vibration. Next card we've got is space. Giving yourself space. But making space between what was and what is. Thank you, Narin. He's telling me about putting, drawing a line in the sand and saying that what was and what is and creating space between what has gone before and where you are presently. Interesting way of looking at it. I'm sure that will make sense to whomever needs to hear this message. And then we have the Cooktown Orchid. So it's the lemon myrtle. We have the Cooktown Orchid. And I love how these two cards are white wildflowers. But as we go forward, we have the hot pink of the Cooktown Orchid. And it is about attitude. Every morning we wake up and we choose what attitude we are going to bring to the day. And it is that at whatever task we are moving into, whatever task we are involved in, we choose. It is up to us as to what attitude we take to it. Whether it be cleaning the toilets in the bathroom, ooh, yick, um, or whether it be going out to lunch with friends, we predetermine the attitude that we're going to bring to each encounter. And that attitude reflects on how we feel with that particular task. Cleaning the toilets in the house. You can go in going, oh, yuck, yuck, grumble, grumble, grumble. Or you can go in and with a, well, it'll take me five minutes and then it'll be done. Going out with a friend. You can go in with an attitude of, Oh my goodness, I'm going to love this lunch. It's going to be absolutely fabulous. Or you can go in the attitude as, Oh, I'm not really in the mood today. I don't really want to do this, blah, blah. And both attitudes will reflect <coughs> on the experience. <laughs> I'll just pause for a minute while I'm quiet in the dogs. And that was another example of the attitude. I could have gone crook at the dogs and got really cranky that they interrupted my reading. But no, just pause and come on, guys. Time to be quiet. So it's very much about uh, choosing the attitude that you are going to go forward with into any situation. So we've got healing. Space, drawing space between uh, what you need to let go of and then the, your attitude going forward. Okay. To extend on those cards, under healing we have celebrate differences. Very much. How you view a situation uh, depends on what you bring into a situation. Um, I remember, yes, thank you, Narin. He's reminding me of uh, an old saying that personal witnesses are the most unreliable evidence because three people can witness something happening and have three completely different um, viewpoints of, of what happened. Oh, that person that robbed the bag was a man. No, that person was a woman. No, they had a hat. No, they didn't have a hat. Um, it depends what you are bringing into any situation as to how you view the situation. So it is about celebrating the differences as part of your healing. If you feel that somebody has hurt you because of their attitude, understand that they are coming to a situation from a diff with different 
background with the different emotional ties, different beliefs and different energies. So we need to free yourself from the negativity that we may be drawing from any situation by putting a line in the sand and understanding the diff and, and accepting differences. Oh, I've actually got four cards here, so I'll space these out. Next we have pause. So <laughs> I find it fast that we've got space and pause. So part of the healing is celebrating that we are all different, that we are all bringing a different viewpoint into every situation. And celebrating that we bring that different viewpoint and what we can learn from those viewpoints and, and what we have to share with others. And then we have the space, the drawing of the line in the sand and saying, right, this is what was, this is what no longer serves me, and this is me moving on with my new attitude. So with space, we also have pause, take a breath as you step into this new new uh, acknowledgement. I'm going to say mental energy, but that's not quite the right word. I think you know what I'm talking about. Into this new way of viewing the world. Pause. Take stock. And step forward. Okay. Show your support. Part of the attitude attitude show your support acknowledge that the feelings of others do exist we may not agree with them but acknowledge that they exist and by acknowledging them we can bring about change but show your support for others that are coming into any situation from a different point of view and it is part of your attitude so Someone may be coming into uh, where we would look at it and go, oh, just suck it up and get on with it. But if we understand where they are coming from, we then understand why getting on with it may be difficult for them. So we need to show support. And this is part of showing guidance as we go forward. This is part of being... Uh, community leaders, this is part of us being spiritual leaders. Be the mentor that you want. And then we have be true to your heart. Let go from what no longer serves you. You have that power within you. Be true to your heart in your attitudes. Whatever uh, choices you are making whatever path you are taking forward come from the heart with that with your attitude don't come from a space of fear don't come from a space of negative negativity come from a space of love and honesty with yourself action awaken the warrior within this is a very much about you moving forward, letting, your, letting go of emotional ties, beliefs, negative entanglements that no longer serve you. This is about taking an action step in regards to it. So we have acknowledged, we have paused, we have decided um, to, to be supportive of those that come into any situation with their differing past we are going into any situation with a attitude that we have predetermined that is going to be positive and it is now up to us to step forward and take action on this take action going forward trust faith in the power of the universe so taking action knowing that the universe has got your back knowing that you go into this with an open heart with being true to yourself with a positive attitude being kind to others and f because you have lifted your vibration through these actions 
It is about moving forward and knowing that the universe has got your back. The spiritual energy has got your back regardless of the outcome. And it's very much about freeing yourself from outdated ways of thinking. And outdated ways of thinking is very much trying to put a, a situation into play. And if it doesn't work for you, being angry because that's how it was supposed to be. No, it's not. Very often, usually, actually I'll say just about always, um, it's not for you to sit back. You do need to, to put uh, action, take action. But if it turns out a different way than what you were originally planning on, it is about accepting that that is how this situation was supposed to turn out. If you go for that job and don't get it, it's because there's a better job for you. If you are made redundant for a job, it is because the universe is giving you a kick up the bum to tell you it is, um, it is time for you to make a change. Every situation where I've found that I've been uncomfortable in but it's easier to stay, something really dramatic happens that forces me to change direction and the outcome from that direction change has been magnificent. Whether it be a relationship that I'm in, a difficult relationship and there is, I'm staying, I'm staying, I'm staying despite it being uh, uncomfortable and, and not serving and dragging me down, there will be something that happens that literally kicks me out, <laughs> forces me to wake up, whether it's a job, that I'm like, oh, you know, hate my job, but it's easier to stay because it pays well. All of a sudden a retrenchment comes up or a voluntary redundancy comes up or something that really gives me the kick up the backside that I need to move on to something new. So trust that the universe has your back and out of this action will be blessings inspiration and your time to shine you have the power to let go of what is no longer serving you which will lead you into a transformation of endless blessing your time to shine free yourself from negative entanglements let go of emotional ties let go of beliefs and outdated ways that no longer serving you that is within your power. That is within your attitude, within your trust that the universe has your back. That is within you being true to your heart. That is you drawing a line in the sand and saying, I am moving on to the new me. And from that you will have blessings, inspiration and your time to shine. Okay, I'm just going to finish with a couple of Work Your Light Oracle cards. Just to summarise, just to summarise, Work Your Light Oracle. Work Your Light Oracle. To summarise this reading, a couple of cards please, Narin. A couple of cards. I had one of my lovely readers tell me they saw the two guides. Glimpsed them ever so briefly, so I'd love to hear if you if you do see the master stands here and Narin stands here when they're not peering into my mouth at the dentist or having a chuckle at the, at the remedial masseuse. Um, if you see them, let me know. I don't actually see them, I hear them. Boy, do I hear them. Okay, Narin. Narin, a couple of couple of you oh, here it is interesting talking about that sisterhood of the rose this is feminine energy beauty and devotion priestess mystic teacher <laughs> thank you Narin. he's just told me this is my card you're a, you're a dag you're a laugh Narin. i was not after my card <laughs> priestess mystic teacher Witchy-woo business, my partner calls it. I was after a card for the collective, Narin. A card to summarise. Oh, he's having a good old laugh. Okay, card to summarise. What have we got here? Pillar of light. 
Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Be the mentor. Be the priestess, the mystic, the teacher as you go about your daily life. And you are birthing a new age. We are moving into a new age. Really, really powerfully moving into a new age. Birthing new cre creations, dreaming a new world into being. By freeing yourself, drawing the line in the sand, accepting your power, stepping into your power. Thank you. Not accepting, stepping into your power. Trusting the universe has you, taking actions, shining, being true to your heart, bringing forward your attitude. You're dreaming your new world into being. And isn't it beautiful? Okay, thank you for joining me. Love to you all. Take care.